Okay, so by now then we've added a couple of links to the Jen's cookbook. We have a link to the garlic salmon and one to tapenade, which are in different directories as the index page was. Uh, so we had to add a slash and then the name of the other directory and then a slash and then the name of the file. We've already done some uh, absolute links that take us somewhere else. We've uh, added relative links that guide us around the site. If you say, um, tell me about the site, we get a little bit of about information. We can link back. Uh, we've done the garlic salmon. I still don't have a link back to the, uh, to the homepage, but we'll be doing that soon enough. And uh, now we're going to be adding some links that take us to different parts of the website. Although these are in the same group, they're not in the same place. If we look at how the uh, pages are spread out, Jen's Kitchen, the root folder, uh, links us directly to the About and the Index pages. They're right there, pretty much in the same level. We have already explored on how to go down to Recipes, where there are the uh, Tapenade and Salmon links. You'll notice, by the way, I'll just mention this, that the uh, Tapenade Olive Spread link, at least on my page, is blue, while the rest of them are purple. What that means is that I have visited Garlic Salmon, and I have visited the Food Network and Epicurious. I have clicked on these, uh, but I have not clicked on Tapenade because I just saved this file, but I haven't clicked on it. Once I click on it and I come back, I'll notice then that it's purple. In uh, future lessons, we'll figure out why this is happening and how we can use it to our advantage. It's not a problem. It's not an issue that we need to correct. It's just something that we need to know is out there that there is a difference between visited links and, and not visited links. Well, before I get lost in this too much, I'll go back to my uh, GitHub page. I will we'll open up Jen's Kitchen and uh, what we're going to be doing, we're following a sample on page 119 of the book where we want to link directly to the couscous page. Couscous is not in recipes directly. It's actually inside of a folder called pasta that will then take us to couscous.html. If I look at the uh, process of how this works, I have my Jen's Kitchen open. Index is where we want to link this from. We want it to go into recipes. And once it's in recipes, then get pasta. And once we get the pasta, we'll find the uh, couscous.html. While I'm here, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it just uh, it doesn't bother me too much, but I want to get this page, the readme.md file, which has already served its purpose, out of the way. I'll click on delete this file, commit those changes, and now it's gone. Uh, couscous is what we're looking for. Eventually, we'll end up with this link. If I wanted to see what's inside of Couscous, I could see it right now because it should already be published. We have already uploaded all this data. I'll right click on that selection, tell it to go here. And this is the absolute URL that we want to go to. But we're not using absolute URLs, we're using relative URLs. So while I could tell it to take me directly here, we're going to use a similar technique to what we've done with the other one, the uh, just simply going to a different directory. We just have to give it the correct path. So I will start once again at Jen's Kitchen, go into the index.html file, click on the pencil to edit it. And according to our instructions on page 119, we're going to simply be adding another href where it needs to go. Let me scroll down so I can see the code. And uh, let me find the list where this is all happening. We've already added the ones at the bottom, Food Network, Epicurious, and we have the recipes up here. Like I said, this has been adding some extra spaces, which are not necessary, but I'll just uh, get rid of them. So we have linguine with clam sauce, and then we have couscous with peas and mint, which is where I want to uh, put in my my next link it's going to be right after the list item code before the word couscous i'm going to open up the bracket and say this is an anchor it's a space href for href is equal to double quote 
and we're going to travel down the uh, maze that is the recipes, pasta, and couscous. By that I mean, similarly, before we only went down one directory to recipes, that's where we start, recipes. We go to the next directory by adding a slash and telling it then that we want the directory called pasta, slash, and then the name of the file is cous, cous, couscous.html. I'll uh, close the quotes and close the angle brackets. After the word mint, we also will close the anchor. Open up a bracket, an angle bracket, slash A. Gives me additional spacing. I see that as a positive thing, that I think it recognizes that that's code and then it moves it out of the way. I will then commit these changes and hopefully they won't take too long so that when I go to see my Jen's Kitchen page, which is not in the right place, but that's okay. I'll close this one. I think this one is right here where it needs to be. I'll uh, reload the page. My couscous with peas and mint is now ready to navigate to. It opens it up. We still have not gone back to the home page on any of the pages. We'll be adding that soon. Uh, for your assignment on page 119, make sure that the linguine with clam sauce, just like we did with couscous with peas and mint, notice in the bottom left the path that it takes, that you add another path to follow when the user clicks on linguine with clam sauce. When you're done adding these links, please turn in the URL to the index page on Jen's Kitchen, and we'll see you in the next uh, lesson.